सो गाइज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट अवर वर्कशॉप सो वी स्टार्टिंग विथ दिस लास्ट प्रोजेक्ट द शॉपिंग अप्लीकेशन वी आर ऑलरेडी एडेड द साइन अप फॉर्म एंड आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए लॉग इन फॉर्म ऑल्सो सो लेट मी डू दैट सो वी नीड टू बी गो टू डेस्कटॉप and now the code is you know the in the winter batch folder and folder is the to do app and now you know the three folder root folder is for the long root folder so i am going to open this folder so so now so you know in the client your in the client folder your to do app is ready and the shop app folder your shopping application is ready and now and the root directory is your backend so guys i am going to write cd shop app because you have to run this application and you know for running this application very easy you have to write npm start so npm start will start the process of front end now i'm going to add one more bash and uh, in this part i am going to write just one second npm ng sir oh sorry node app so it will start our backend which connect in the local of 8280 and this is our application now if you go to sign up you see the sign up form is ready now if you go to the login login form is ready in the last class you see the login is working sign up is working now in this class i am going to test my sign up form okay so i am going to this src and go to the login page here you see guys this is your email id password button everything is mentioned here and i'm going to take a reference of my sign up page so it is better to as a developer to use the reference code so just go to sign up form i'm sorry not just open the sign up form in the left hand area and login form in the right hand area and try to copy some code it is better to use so this is the code and paste it here here the first name last name you have to ignore it only email and password and just copy this stuff and paste it and i recommend you please guys use this stuff that of thing in your project try to make the code which is similar and also try to copy paste the code in a very good manner okay also we have to add some functionality so i'm going to copy and paste and directly add this functionality and now before only just copy and paste is not enough you have to see that everything going right or wrong uh okay only thing just sign up services file we have to change with the login make sure in the service which is created under the just one second service folder there is login function is ready okay now i am going to write function name should be login okay and it will return success error false whatever thing so i am going to take the user service if success is true it return token otherwise token null or error so mean your output is token or null so i am going to write token and error this is service is written if token is available okay if token is available you have to write what login successfully okay login successfully 
otherwise error message will go to be as a alert message simple now we have to understand and add this form like this so whenever you on submit instead of writing this you have to add handle submit and you have to add this on value and on change function okay so i am going to just copy this email part and copy this from this to this area and paste in this section okay also we need to copy for password make sure the key name should be same for everything so i am going to add the password oh sorry because it error is coming because you are adding two email okay also you have to input a password now everything is ready so this error is coming use state is not defined user is not defined because this is the error because you have to add this import thing in the top of the code otherwise you will face in this error and i recommend you guys i recommend you sorry i use i am adding to late uh, but i guess you have get the thing are you able to see my screen i use Okay, great. So I use um, um, I did one thing only. I'm just try to copy and paste. And you know, sign up form contain this four field, and login form contain two field. Only this thing is different. Okay, everything is same. Now, guys, I'm try to test this application. Only alert message assigned, but never use. Okay, so I need to be assigned. Uh, just second, just paragraph. Just copy this stuff and uh, add it here. So every error has been gone. Just just go to the login page and try to write the login page. So I am in example dot com or no? And pass one two three four. Whatever the thing. When I log in, okay. Problem. There's something wrong in my code. Problem is this button should be type submit and also. No, everything fine. So now again, I'm trying to copy this. When I click this, why this nothing happened? Just so refresh this page and see my console again. Okay. Problem in this area. If this token is null, if the something is token, this is the error. So you have to add. If if error is available, then this area is set alert message. Something went. Now try to this. When I log in, something went wrong. So let me go to my backend code. Just go to the backend code and try to better output. So in the router, when I go to the login, first message is error. This okay, and uh, or oh, not sign up? Uh, not no no login. So guys, I am changing this thing. I am changing everything as a message. Every error. Oh no no. no. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm changing nothing. Only understanding that when something is wrong, it will return a error key. So I'm going to like uh, go to the user service. So I'm returning success. It is returning this. Else, else. Error. I'm going to write response dot data dot error. Perfect. So everything will be handled. And where I'm going to in the login page, I'm just 
perfect so now let me refresh it and try to write the code I mean example.com and I'm going to write pass one two three four and say <laughs> just one second everyone let me see the response the response is this data success aspiring m e double s uh, just one second it should be it should be oh sorry it should be also a error no now this time oh and also we have to run the backend one more time terminate it run it again now send it just one second why i'm doing this spanning wrong make sure my recording is okay hello hello yeah everything is going fine so it is like a good message. This password is not match. So I am going to use Richa. Here I would write login successfully. So here see, suppose I am going to write random Rina, whatever the name is. User not found. So here you see this, this type of login is working. When I log in, it is like that. So when I like write detail it is like showing users successfully user successfully and because guys just one second here in the login successfully he it is returning a token and you see this message but guys i hit i need to use this token i need to use this token so i am going to store this token in my browser there are multiple ways to store something in a browser very easy way is using local storage. Local storage is a something in a, under the application. When you click on the application, here is a local storage. When you click your domain, here this key and value thing. Right now, right now the key value is empty. Right now key value is empty. But guys, when I log in. When I log in and if success login, it will be a store something. So I need to line, I'm going to add a code here. So store token in browser. So guys, you have to store this token. So storing this token is very easy. You have to use local storage, local storage component of uh, uh, JavaScript for the browser and you have to write uh, set item sorry set item set item need two two things one need is a key and one is value the key is like token and value is like what is your token so now i'm going to add this okay so when i log in again Mm -hmm. refresh it reach example.com pass 1 2 3 4 and login login successfully why not a story just one second let me think what go to the console when login it is not token okay and local storage set item token token it should be why token is not working just for me second i'm writing again you see this token is coming now but it's not a storing in this position let me check with any issue just one second 
something went wrong guys i don't know why but it is not a storing the detail mm -mm -mm. let me use my different tab hello i think your screen has been freeze yes or no just one second not clear everyone let me check actually it should be a store in the browser and i am doing everything is right but is not a story the token in the browser i don't know why okay i will check this let me give me some minute or maybe i am using the different browser yeah it's working in this case i guess it will also working in this case maybe i guess we are hide sharing the screen maybe that's why the region is just not adding the, the picture let me one second guys i'm going to unshare the screen for for a while i'm checking this it is working or not i know don't know maybe this security purpose they are not uh, uh, giving the uh, this one second i don't know my chrome browser not allow me to add the token but my other browser you see uh, not see uh, just share me so here you see in my this browser you see the token is storing like that in the local host okay this is your token so guys every time you log in you have to you have to store this token and now after storing this token log uh, we have to be redirect this page so i'm going to set time out set time out is a function which will execute in the time by and 3 second after 3 second we have to use just go to the app.js page okay now profile page is already there so window dot profile so let's see now login going to add when i click the login after the 3 second 1 2 3 it is go to be the profile page okay this is the way that you have to go to the profile page now we need the profile detail in this position we need the profile detail in this position so guys what should i do i need to be first let me uh, just uncomment this okay now so here is the profile page so profile page i need to be use this api this profile api where you see this token should be passed so now i'm going to take uh, i need to be need this token so you see the token is stored in the local storage so we have to be get this token from the local storage so to write local storage dot get item and pass the key name the key name is token just one second so token name we getting from this position and we pass this as a second argument as a header and pass this header okay this header so if this profile route will be working so now i'm going to calling this profile route in the profile page so let me let me open the profile page right now profile page is in pt so i need to get this profile data so i will add a hook so i will create one more folder and its name is hooks and this hook component needs or oh, this small hook use use user hook dot this so this hook is already created in my uh, this src page i guess uh, the name is so i'm going to copy this code again from here and try to paste it in this folder only few thing i'm going to change this service class because this service class is user service and it is right get profile okay and this is the user data and i'm going to write set user error everything is same and i am going to write 
set user. Also, we need to focus ki how the user profile looks. So this user profile, this area, it is turning like that. So I am going to user. Otherwise, user is a null. Otherwise, is error. So now I am updating this. Go to this part. Here I am going to write user and error. If set user, this user and set error error. Everything is done. Only the things we don't need to be add any. We should be add the empty. We don't need to pass any argument. And this name is use user book. Guys, copy paste code is like two good things for as a developer. Sometimes you have to understand and don't we need to be invest too much time in the copy and paste the code. Okay now. Everything is done, I guess. So nothing thing is problem. So now this hook return this. Just copy this stuff and constant paste this and we need to call this hook. Use user hook and console dot log user user if there is a console dot log error. So now I'm going to check console. When I refresh the page, this user is returning with all the detail. Okay, and error is undefined. So this data is coming. So we don't need to use. If you don't ignore this error, you can ignore this. So now I'm going to create a some beautiful card. So I'm going to write div class container my5p5 I'm going to write the class name row justify content center and hello hello and we have to write div class call 6 and I'm going to write card div class name card okay and I'm going to write h1 hello what user dot first name but please guys use this question mark if user is not found because of internet connection whatever this you have to handle this null pointer exception by using this question mark and it's called null safety and you see hello richard because this account is the richard and just ignore this m5 right okay hello richard and if you want to add s5 if you want to see which email id is using user dot something like that and other thing you have to add that so this is the account of richa your tenant by this way you are going to retrieve the information of richa and now it's working so this is the way that you have to create the login page profile page and and uh, login page, sign up page, and profile page. Only the thing is, login and sign up didn't use any bearer token, but profile using bearer token. This profile link is only written the detail of this feature, not other people. Okay, so now this part is done. Any query to understand, like any question? I guess most of the thing already repeated. The hook part is already explained in my last class. So this is things. So I'm adding these hooks. Generally, when you're retrieving some information through the link, please use this line of this type of code hooks. But if you're sending something like of code, please use this line of code. Making the form, please use this type of code. Okay, the code is lo looks so clean and stable, and you see that. Clear? Any question, guys?
Don't worry, I will share the code, you will understand everything. Any more person? Thank you. So now, come to this home page and guys, I am going to create an array here in the home page. I will explain why I am creating this array, but let me explain this. So suppose I am going to create a products, I am going to add it. Okay. And this product is like an array. Here, just one second, everyone. Let me minimize it. Product. And I'm going to write the name of product like Nike. And I'm going to write detail. Okay. Nike is Nike. Nike is. And I'm going to add a price. Nine 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 nine. I will explain why I am creating this. So, this is a product, and, and I make an ID. ID is what? Now I am copy the stuff, or like I am adding one more image. So I am using internet. Like go to the Google Chrome. I am going to write Nike. Go to the image section. Just choose any image for this image but make sure this link should be small otherwise oh yeah this image okay suppose i'm going to add one more product okay add one more product okay now you can change or not change so i'm only changing the price okay this type of price and suppose i want to change everything like white shoes and what In last green shoes get it. so now I have the all the data okay so guys where is your code now this product is ready so I am going to create a code of D let me go to the profile section and copy this D and make this D only the few thing I am going to add Instead of row justify center, I am going to add row 4 and uh, yeah, no padding at all. And instead of writing this, I am using loop. So, loop is already used in my to do app. So, to loop is only products dot map product and I am returning this. If something went wrong anyway let me repeat it again and I'm going to add IMG SRC and I'm going to write here what I'm going to write product oh sorry dot image and class name is IMG thumbnail and see we need to be written otherwise it will be so empty and if you go to the local host 3000 you will get this support image in your website okay now why am i doing this local host 3000. now this is the image if you like you want to be add height of uh, 300 for every okay now after that I'm going to add s3 and I'm going to write product dot name and I'm going to add a small product dot dt so it will looks like that okay I know this image is not good so either you can change the image or maybe uh, you have to be I am a thumbnail just one second yes and uh, 
yeah better and guys i am going to add a button class name btn btn warning by so this is the website if you add some e3 or p2 you will be like this top code so it is better like buy now button everything is there so and also need to be add the price h5 price is like product dot uh, price and it should be written in rs rupees and i'm going to add one text success yeah that's it or even you can not add the price everyone understand this is price okay now see so now you have to add this buy now button buy now button okay because you are using the map map need a thing slot key and key should be unique but don't worry product had a id which is should be unique so 3 2 and i'm going to add id and it is done so guys you see the your website has containing this uh, payment uh, like product you can click the this button and you can buy the product but now you are going to integrate the payment gateway for integrating the payment gateway guys you need to be a payment gateway provider so right now i am going to add in the call name is rajar pay how many people know about the rajar pay anyone in this class who know about the rajar pay anyone so rajar pay guys is like a payment gateway we can use add the payment integration in your website very easily just go to the login section or sign up section by, by default i have already an account in this rajar pay so i am not going to be login it again so i'm directly login with my credential whatever the credential you have you can do that just wait for some time it will login and guys you see there's a dashboard page okay in this dashboard page when when you come in this dashboard page there is section called setting mm. just one second oh sorry setting just click on the setting the setting provide the api key same as the uh, open weather api they are providing the api key right now this is the api key because we are going to create this new application or new thing so we are going to generally generate a new api key so when i click this old will be uh, old key will be deactivate immediately or will be taking 24 hours so i will go to this section so they will generating this provider api key and api secret so now i'm going to copy this api key and going to store in my code so i'm going to here write api key and this is the api key and i'm going to create one more variable api secret and this api secret also i'm going to copy okay if you want to download you can download for the better use now the api key is ready this is very easy to understand getting the api keys now if you go to the transactions the two table mostly are i am going to use payment and order payment and order order is optional you can take the payment without order but it is not good but order it should be generated due before the payment so now i will do this part in explaining th this thing in in few minute but now we have to understand the documentation to so go to the developer part no developer actually we have to go to the rajar pay docs part this rajar pay docs part there are multiple option in the google i am going to choose the wave integration in the wave integration it will add this type of payment gateway in your website but just one second just 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 one second don't worry about it okay this is the part okay so basically guys 
the reservoir documentation says that first you need to be add this script so it is easy everyone know where where i am going to add this script so i am going to copy this script from the documentation and go to the public part because public has a html page and just in the bottom section we need to add the script part we need to add the script part now the later okay we have to create this variable so just copy this variable just copy this variable and go to the home page okay home page and i am going to copy store this okay if you see this this option contain multiple things like key id so here this is api key is the key id so replacing this with my api key this is the amount okay up amount should be dynamic this is the currency so i am going to remove this the amount part okay also i am going to remove this the i am going to comment this name part description i am going to also, also comment this because i am going to make this dynamic image should be also be make it dynamic i will explain how we do that order id this is a new thing but i will explain it later so order id i am going to comment it okay and uh, if you go to the documentation uh, this something is like callback url so i need to be just one second just one second just one second okay instead in uh, instead uh, instead of adding callback url they are suggesting to other option also or other option is like handling this handler function so i'm just copy this stuff and uh, adding this part in the place of this okay now there's something prefill which is not going to be touched i'm not going to touch it so now i need to be add this amount and so on so i'm going to okay simple so now let so when i click this button guys listen carefully when i click this button sorry when i click this button it should be call a function by now okay by now and i make this zero one and two. okay change the id and i am going to pass product dot id okay i am going to add this by now so we need to be create this by now function so i am going to create this constant by now this by now contain the id or index And now I am going to make the verification. I am going to add an alert and pass index. Okay. So, oh, say spelling mistake. By now. So now, if you go to the website, when I click this, this is returning zero. Okay. When I click this, this is returning one. Okay. When I click this, this is returning two. Okay. so because this is a javascript object if you removing this part it will not returning any error it is also supported if you remove this prefill it will not okay now so you see this option is like that so when now when i click this option so i am going to be console console 
dot log because this index is indicating the which product is I'm going to click. So I'm going to click the console i or sorry index. So if you go to the console, when I click this black zoo, uh, okay, I will explain this. This C ID is being played, ID 0, NAM, black zoo. Uh, let me fix this key part. So, mm, just one second, let me refresh it. Okay, now. When I click this buy now, it is the ID is redundant. So means you know which port, which ID is clicked. When I click this, uh, sorry, white is printed. Now after this click, I am going to make this option means option amount should be come from should be come from product which is clicked right now dot price next this reserve pay use prices instead of rupees so you need to multiply with 100 because reserve pay use paise instead of rupees so we have to multiply to convert this paise to rupees also you know divide unless you multiply multiply now option i am going to add what next and it should be like name name should be also come from product dot index dot name option dot description is come from product dot index dot detail option image not images image is come from product index detail oh no detail image now see what is happening now next after adding this reserve pay tells us that you need to be create a variable like this so copy this stuff and I'm going to create this variable RZP. Make sure this variable should be added after the adding this script in the HTML page. Okay. And now after that, we say RZP is not defined. Uh, just me, let me think about why RZP is not defined. Let me confirm in the Google. Stack or follow is very easy. Like uh, actually, uh, you cannot directly add treasure pay like this. Let me try this. Okay. Anyway, I guess it will work. And now, if RZP is ready, you have to use no. So, just click on buy now. Uh, window constructor just one second it is working on the other library just one second. i guess i make mistake minor mistake no 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 and you let me try once otherwise i will be do fine just one second cannot read the property of undefined price okay PRIC, PRIC, mm, cannot read the property of undefined. Just one second, everyone. I think I make mistake. Products, why? Okay. Let me just. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm, yeah, it's okay. Uh, no. Just one second, everyone. I'm adding this handling this and guys i'm i made i didn't do any wrong in this code everything is right but the problem is event driven default and then we are adding this so we try to be add a sync function 
and have it this okay okay this the is not a constructor it should be working without window any idea that uh, how we handle that I made everything wrong right option and something like that and he say that window is not constructor just give me more five minutes and try to fix it I have some option I'm trying to use this guys I'm trying to everything but uh, let me try to use new okay guys let me try this uh, this is the last option if it's working otherwise work the script is already added okay I will invest four to five minutes more and uh, mm. okay guys I'm not uh, guys don't know why this is not happening uh, this is not working uh, but it should be work but uh, still this showing uh, home dot uh, window and dot it's not working I'm trying and say razor page uh, window dot razor page is not a constructor and it should be working okay I guess I thought uh, the class will be in today but uh, I guess there's something went wrong in my code I'm trying one more step if it's working otherwise I will do one more extra class to completing this part and uh, just one second I don't want to take any more extra class uh, use effect function I'm going to add here and I will explain this why I'm doing that anyway guys uh, if I'm trying to write this code if this code is working that's good otherwise uh, otherwise it is telling that please add this script in the body by default this way the body part is not added so okay and we are adding this unexpected something code mm -mm. anyway guys something went wrong and i'm disturbing right now uh getting this error because this error is not come in my last class uh, last batch <laughs> but don't worry about it guys uh, the two options i'm giving to you either i'm going to add your the code on this section on the same repo i will get you update the code uh, i mean i will update this function only updating this function and after this updating this function when the payment will be working when the payment is working so it will be create a table it will create a table in the razor pay section in the transaction section okay in this section and the same detail will be added like that but right now the something went wrong in my code so there is something is issue but I'll try to find a, a solution but uh, I'm not able to find the solution right now maybe there's something is not working properly in my code or maybe something I miss but uh, guys uh, whenever I get the code and if this code will be working I will add the code that area and uh, fix this issue and uh, the issue is only that uh, uh, so is like uh, when I calling this function razor pay window it should be working but now it's not working I don't know maybe the latest version of the react or maybe the different things and uh, if this is working it will create a window for asking for payment and everything will be working everything will be like completed okay so I need to be reason to find why this is not working and add optimal code in this part so two option uh, maybe I will add the code here by tonight or tomorrow night if uh, I tell you that uh, the we need to take an extra class we will come again on the Wednesday otherwise classes will go out because you are regular student so I am asking to you tell me what should I do should I take an, uh, one more extra class for handling this error or maybe if the uh, if working code is okay for you, no? Yes. There is no more extra class you need? No, sir. Everyone, please tell me, please. I'll be safe and other guys. 
I promise I will update the code. Only these things, only the error is this code is not working. Maybe some mistake I am taking, I am, maybe I have forgot something at the at this point. Okay, definitely I will update the code by tomorrow night and inform to you. And also, and if you are not satisfied with the, that code, please tell the Google Classroom. I will take one more extra class otherwise. Okay, and uh, please, guys, one more thing. Uh, let me stop the.